I would recommend Favorite Castell coloring pencils to anyone because I've been using it for many many years and they're super durable, smooth and easy to use. The colors are bold and they blend together nicely. There's no particular reason why I use the watercolor pack. I've just been used to that one and I do find that these blend together much better than other brands. for sketching up a draft of a drawing or just in general sketching up a piece. The colors are very pigmented, especially the darker shades and the lead doesn't break easily. They come in different shades ranging from 6H, which is the lightest shade, to 8B, which is the darkest shade. These are the black fineliner pens I used to create my Zentangle pattern doodles and illustrations. They come in different sizes and in my experience the ink lasts for a very long time and the black color is super pigmented. They're great for sketching illustrations or doing very detailed drawings. Probably my favorite discovery of black pens I've ever had. It's such an amazing product because the eight pens that come in the package are all very versatile and they vary in the lead size, which is great if you need to do a very detailed drawing or just a very rough sketch of something. What I love the most about these pens is that they are designed to allow you to be more flexible in drawing, in the sense that you can alternate between drawing thin and thick lines using just one pen instead of having to buy many different sized pens. These are the color gel pens I use mainly in my Zentangle Doodle illustrations and they're great because the color is very beautiful and concentrated and it lasts for a very long time. I think I've had these pens for over a year now and they still haven't run out. I love using these Copic markers for quick sketches and doodles because they're great for coloring in. They come in a wide range of tones and shades of different colors and they're super gentle and smooth to work with on paper. I'll be honest, they're slightly pricey, but if you do a lot of drawings or sketches that involve using colored markers or color in general, I think they're definitely worth the investment. doing a very detailed drawing and you need to rub out a very small area of the drawing but afraid that the eraser will end up rubbing out an entire chunk of your drawing, these pinpoint erasers are the perfect solution. This is the brand of paint I use for my watercolor paintings. I've used other brands before but I found that if you don't use the paint for a while, it'll eventually dry up but the Sakura matte ones don't do that. Although the tubes look very small, the paint actually lasts for a very long time and the colors turn out great and bold. I use the Martel and Skyist's brushes for my watercolor paintings, but to be very honest, any watercolor brush you find in your stationery shop will be perfectly fine as well. There's nothing particularly special about these, it's just the ones I've been using for a long time. I love using Moleskin sketchbooks so much because the paper is quite thick and very very smooth. They don't rip easily either. For some reason, the drawings I do in these sketchbooks turn out much smoother and bolder than any other sketchbooks I've used. I highly recommend these sketchbooks, they're well worth it. I use the Canson Watercolor Sketch Pad for my paintings as I found that this brand of sketchbooks has a much higher water retention than other sketchbooks. Some watercolor sketchbooks are very prone to tearing, especially if you use too much water, but the Canton ones prevent that from happening because the paper is very thick and it holds the colors super well. This is just a very regular A3 size sketchbook I used to draw larger pieces of drawings. 
I used the Canon PowerShot G7X camera to film my speed during videos. The screen flips up which means I can see what I'm filming and make sure the lens are in focus. I use my Canon DSLR 100D camera to take photos of my drawings to upload onto Instagram and other social media websites.